I'm always surprised that people aren't afraid what I would do if they think my music would cause problems. They're not afraid what I would cause. But yeah, it's it's always yeah. I don't think it will ever change. I think it's the same as the same reason why they crucified Jesus. If we were to believe that story, it's the same reason why I made this record. I created this mythology. I chose the Faustian story, Mephistopheles, and the idea of making a deal with the devil. And sometimes then you have to play by the rules that you made for yourself. And I've been hearing this. Manson, and I wasn't answering the door because I don't think I was playing by my own rules. And this record's me paying back my due. And when it comes to hanging, it's a, it's a it's something I say a lot on the record. I refer to it the, in worship of my record. I say, "You're not my noose. I tied this knot." And it's ironic because I had not heard the story. And 15 is tattooed behind my ear, so 15 is the, it's a very pivotal era. It's a, it's a number that is, uh, I was born on January 5th. 15 letters in my name, both of them legal and Marilyn Manson. And it's, you can't blame anything on anyone unless you don't take control of yourself. I had to realize I could not blame other people for my failures or mistakes or I would be taking the role of not having control of my life. And it's hard to get control of your life. And I think a lot of times people will identify with music because they don't feel like they can identify with anything else. So it's, it's a tough conversation other than that I started thinking about the concept that if religion and mostly religious zealots or politicians will point out Historically, starting with Mozart, that music was the devil's chord, the tritone. That's back then. That's way before we were even thought of. You were not even close to being part of your father's sperm. Way back in the day. And I started thinking about the two sides of it. When you think about the Southern Baptist evangelical tent church believers that are holding snakes and chanting in tongues, which goes back to things that are biblical. It's not that different from the possessed girl speaking in tongues, convulsing, tied to a bed, being exercised, other than it would make for a better sex video. That's the only difference, <laughs> if we were to break it down, because I don't like snakes that much. but. When it comes to violence and things like that, I can't ever feel, I mean, if I was literally responsible for something, I would take credit or take, take, accept the responsibility. If I did a crime, if I caused harm to somebody else who didn't deserve it, I would take the blame, I would take the punishment. But I'm not going to take the, I'm not going to accept any sort of blame for things that I make. So people should be responsible for their own actions. And if someone wants to kill themselves, that's really unfortunate, but that's, that's Darwinism. That's survival, the fittest. And it's sad, but I can't be sad about it personally. Like, I had something to do with it, nor should the, the people that was, was playing his iPod. It's just, I would have played something different if I were going out that way. But I wouldn't have hung myself. I don't have the constitution, nor the determination, or the desire to kill myself. And if I'm ever dead and it says I killed myself and there's not a lot of other dead people around, it's not true.